Hi, it's Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's a battle on the monastery map, or the abbey map, should I say. Um, it's Krazib in one of his alt accounts, uh, which is in Lemon Clan. And he's in the SU 12244. Now, again, um, he's picked my favourite camo. <laughs> Actually, it's quite suits this uh, vehicle. Now, um, I've seen quite a few examples of really forward or aggressive play with TDs, and this is going to be a pretty good example, um, basically to maximise your results. Um, now, not all TDs are suitable for this, but um, I've seen people using a Boffin Traeger 4, which uh, sort of leads to the Griller 15. Um, but uh, the SU-12244 is a bit of a brawling um, TD. And you can just see he's actually doing some reasonable sniping here at tanks that are just outside his view range. Uh, obviously to protect his um, position and not be spotted. And he's got yeah, some decent targets here. So already picked up 1.5k of damage. Let's see how much he can punish the OI. Well, he's sent him back to the garage. So, first kill for Krasib. Alright, now he's got an IS there. He's top tier in this game, tier 7, tier 6 game. Um, it's a pretty decent um, premium TD. It's got very good uh, hull rotation, which you do need in a casement. TD and a reasonable gun arc as well, so but uh, yeah, pretty good face up. And it's got low height, um, you can get under the gun of the tank you're fighting with and rotate as fast as he can get around you. So um, yeah, it's not as vulnerable as some TDs when you're caught by a light tank, for example. Alright, uh, just stopping here for the moment just to see if we can pick up any targets in the middle of the abbey. It's pretty common to get some tanks peeking there and you can shoot back at them. But uh, just look at the minimap positions, that strip is just behind hardcover, so nothing really being spotted there. And crazy, just taking a different line here. Deciding to go into the middle, it looks like. Now you can actually go up this ramp here that's just gone past and get up to the middle part without going through the um, driveway. But now he's found 5916 light tank going up there. Can you get another shot in? Not quite. But TPM is actually pretty good on this TD as well. It's part of its uh, attraction. Interestingly enough, he didn't get spotted by the 5916, even though he was relatively close. Alright, Tiger1 complaining in chat. Looks like he got left behind by his teammates. Okay, here we go, he's got the Striv, and we can basically punish him. He's taking some hits now, but not a problem. And you see the rotation speed here, you can keep the um, gun on the Strip and he sends him back to the guard. So two kills there now to Crazy, and he's up to three K of damage already. This is, and this is in a tier seven TD. So doing all right, and we're not even completed the first five minutes of the game. All right, got another target here, T150. Now this is pretty decent heavy tank at this tier, but oh, we set him on fire too. So finally invokes his fire extinguisher and. Although he's taken some heavy hits from the T-150, he should get rid of him. Oh, he missed that shot. That's a bit unfortunate. He's operating in third-person mode here just to help with the, um, the brawling. And sometimes that pays off and sometimes it doesn't. But uh, nonetheless, he managed to get rid of him. Now, although he's down to 66 hit points, it's enough to keep playing. Oh, now he's got uh, CC-56 in his targets who has been pushed into the water and he might be able to get rid of him before he drowns. The 88 trying to drown him, I think. But uh, now he's just leaving him to crazy. And uh, okay, he's just completed the mission. Let's have a quick look at the 
targets there, so TD2 for the object 260, 3 critical hits and 5k damage, and yes he's just done 5k damage in a tier 7 TD, that's pretty amazing. Alright, the game is pretty much over, but uh, can he get any more damage? That's going to be the trick. And here you got another feature of this TD, it's speed across ground, doing nearly 50, 48k's, very decent. And it's just got this KB2 getting in his way, that's not helping, but um, can he get any targets out of this? He's only got 66 hit points, so he doesn't want to just throw them away. He does get the kill there, so five kills there to crazy, although a very small number of hit points. And there's Yak Panzer 4 there in the corner, who probably won't last by the time he gets back into position. One more hit, I'd say, he's gone. Yes, there he goes. So now it's just that FV304 that just punished the KV2 next to him, and the CC56 that went round the corner, going up the 8 9 line. So, crazy. Just trying to work out, does he get, can he get an angle on the FV, or should he go for the um, CC? But I don't think the FV is going to last, so yeah, figures that out, and here comes back the CC. 56, can he get a line on him without getting shot back, that's going to be the question. And you can just see the, all the tanks circling around now, so you might just get one more shot of damage in here. And the CC, oh no, he's dead already, but that's it. Alright, well that was a very quick game, over in about 7 minutes, 5.5k of damage. Alright, so the 5.3k of damage is earned in the high caliber award, 5 kills, and the tank sniper award. Now, yeah, that T50 dash 2 that scattered the uh, 8 9 line earned him a fair bit of damage there, so that uh, really helped. But uh, look, he's earned his third mark of excellence there, so he's been doing very consistent damage in this tank. And the Ace Tank of Mastery badge to go with that as well. Let's have a look at the team score. Alright, so 1601 base, very nice level there, well above the normal level. Let's just sort that properly. Chromie B actually ended up in second there, and the T52 yeah, didn't last long enough, but um, came in in third place there, so well done to that player as well. And the uh, CC56 who lasted to the end was the top performer for that team, but uh, pretty much, yeah, very average performance from the rest of the team there. Uh, but let's have a look at the details. So 20 shots fired, 17 hits, and 15 penetrations. So that, as I've mentioned, one of the features of the um, SU-12244 is the DPM and getting up close and personal can also help as well with the um, you know, fairly large dispersion on the gun as well. So he did get res good results from the sniping though, I've got to say. That's probably one of the best sniping efforts I've seen in that tank. And uh, it's earned a fair bit of money. Now of course with um, the holiday ops that is going on at the moment, there's some very good um, add-ons that you're getting in terms of credits and that's paid well for his ammo choices and consumables that he was running so he's ended up with a very nice profit of 104k out of one battle so great result there from crazy thanks very much for the content really appreciate not just the um, content but also some of the comments you supply with for it uh, it really helps me give a lot of insight back to other people so hopefully you like the battle as well um, if you do, please give the video a thumbs up. It helps exposing to more people. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please consider doing that. We'll have more great content to follow. Thanks very much for watching.